Well, hey, how y'all doing? My name is Willie Lawson. Uh, this is the Morning Report. The Morning Report is a production of FightbackMedia.com, 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 and FightbackMediaTV.com. It is a lovely uh, Monday morning, 79 degrees out. The humidity in Western Florida is almost nil, which means it's at 104%. <laughs> we have some humidity here normally. But it's but it's down, so it's really nice out. I uh, hope you had a great weekend. I'll be looking forward to a great week. It just gets weirder and weirder and more bizarre and in the same sense, more childlike. I've often said that uh, liberals and leftists are like 12 year old girls. They just whine about the weirdest stuff. And this is one of those stories. Um, it's about Christy Nome. You guys know about Christy Nome. Uh, apparently there was a story that she wrote in her book uh, about how she had to, at one point, put down a dog. Now, we are, I don't know, we have turned into the past 20 years to, to people who are treating dogs, cats. There's my co-host over there on the chair. Um, better than people treat their children. And I think that's problematical, for sure. Uh, and at the same time, uh, somebody who goes and buys an eighty dollar bag of uh, uh, of cat food because it's um, it's got the right protein, it hydro has hydrolyzed protein. Uh, we try the novel proteins of getting chicken and um, and rabbit and not, not chicken. Chicken is bad for my cat. That's my point. My cat's allergic to chicken, so we don't get chicken for the cat. I know it seems like a lot, doesn't it? You know, our parents, if they had a pet, they just ate whatever scraps we didn't eat. And those and those dogs and cats lived to, into, into their hundreds, right? But not now. That's not how we do it. We have pet insurance. And it's expensive. How do I know? Because I looked into it. Because <laughs> going to the vet is expensive, right? And we, you know... A lot of us had dogs and cats. We never, you know, when we were kids, we never took to the vet. You know, if, you know, if the dog started puking, he ate some grass and stayed outside for a while, and then he was fine, right? That's how we used to do it. That is not how we do it anymore. I was in the pet store the other day, pet, getting some food for the kitty, and um, the, the the clerk was on the phone talking to someone about animal carriers. Not the thing you put, you cages you take them to the vet in. No, but strollers. And they had two strollers. And one of the strollers that, that, that she talked about was $169. Wow. Wow. So I get I, I get who we who we've turned into. And it's not good. Now, the story goes that people can understand why people are upset about excuse me, about the story, of a 20-year-old story about a dog named Cricket. It was one of the working dogs at the ranch. Completely different sort of situation than your pet. That's your, that is your emotional support animal, right? So in her upcoming book called No Going Back, Book is filled with many honest stories of her life, good and bad, challenges and painful decisions, lessons learned. She said all of this on X. Um, she said, and this is what she says. What I learned from my years of public service, especially leading South Dakota through COVID, is people are looking for leaders who are authentic, willing to learn from the past and don't shy away from tough challenges. She, she says, Noam says this, my hope that anyone reading this book will have an understanding that I've always, always worked to make the best decisions I can for the people in my life. Okay, well, here is what happened. This dog, Cricket, had been tough, and then the dog attacked some neighbors, um, got family's chickens, some, some neighbor's chickens, on the way home from, from, from a hunting trip. And then and, and, and then it bit her. So this dog was super aggressive. So what she did was she apologized for the chickens 
that were killed and wrote a check, helped throw away the carcasses. Um, she does say she hated that dog because the dog was untrainable. So at that moment, she realized that she had to put the dog down because the dog had attacked her and had killed livestock of other people and was and was dangerous. So she took Cricket to a gravel pit and put her down. And then she also writes uh, that her family owned some na a nasty and mean goat and they did the same thing to the goat. This is life in rural America. This is life out on the ranch. This is life outside the confines of the city and outside the backyard of the suburbs. This is how animals, goats, dogs, cats, coyotes, cows are treated like animals. And decisions have to be made to protect the rest of the animals, including the humans. So the fact is, the South Dakota law states that dogs who attack and kill livestock can be put down. They don't go to counseling. You know, you don't burn incense to calm them down. You don't give them melatonin. Wait, let me get this. You can't read this, but this is hemp oil and melatonin I have for my cat. So I... I get what people are, I get what people are feeling, but it's stupid. And I'm stupid doing that too. So given crickets, I had shown aggressive behavior towards people by biting them. She said, I decided to do what I did. This is where we're at. This is how some people are deciding their political leadership. We're back to this. We don't like them. Why? They're not nice. Well, how do you know that? Well, they don't talk nice. They say mean. They, they, they say mean things, and that's enough reason to disqualify somebody. I don't know if I'm a fan of Chrissy Gnomes or not. I, I don't know if I, I was before, and I'm not now necessarily. But this story means zero as to how I think her leadership capabilities are, good or bad. And what bothers me is that that people, anybody, especially after something that's happened 20 years ago, can be concerned with it. That it would be a negative for her. It's crazy. Don't you think it's crazy? I'm, I thought you did. Anyway, we got to get out of here and make room for somebody else. So until we see you again, go out there and learn something, love somebody. And for goodness sake, y'all take care of yourself. We'll see you when we see you. Bye-bye now.